Today, with your 2014 to 2021 Tundra lights, I'm gonna show you how to open these up because this is Permaseal and it's a pain in the ass. But not only that, I wanna show you how to dechrome them so that way you can paint them to your color, whatever your heart desires. Let's get it. <laughs> yes! <laughs> yes! As you see here, I have this headlight that I so conveniently scuffed up a little bit. So we're gonna do a little restoration on the lens as well too to clean that up. But Permaseal is very difficult to deal with. Taking this off can be a pain and there are whole threads dedicated on how to do this. You don't have to be the most experienced retrofitter to get these apart, but I will warn you, you will be spending a lot of time trying to separate these. It also depends on what type of Permaseal that the OEM manufacturer is using because not all of them are the same. Let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna start by taking off all the, the bulbs, the wiring, the electronic adjuster, everything. So that way we can just move towards finishing this as fast as possible. All right, I'm gonna start with the easy stuff first. I'm gonna take out the bulb lights, turn them to the left, releases them, move them to the side. Very simple. Make sure to not miss any of them. I'm gonna remove the grommet here. Keep in mind, there is still wiring that goes in the housing, so we're gonna come back to that. Also, there are screws that are all around the housing that you need to take off. We're gonna go ahead and get the Torx bit that fits and start disassembling everything. It is a T15, go ahead and start turning to the left to loosen it up. Make sure to get everywhere because even here, there's the one that's kinda in the crevice. Don't forget about that one. Also, don't forget about the electronic adjuster too. This has to come off so that way you can throw this in the greaser. Do not throw electronics into the greaser. Be very careful to not break your retainer clip. Be safe, don't break your headlights. Also, I'm gonna take out the clip that's a retainer to hold in the bulb anyway, just to be safe. All right, so now, cameraman, are you ready for a field trip? Let me get a thumbs up. There we go. <laughs> and also on the retrofitsource.com, we have all sorts of tools that you can use to help separate. You might have to even cut these. I don't know, we're gonna figure it out, but I'm gonna try and do this the most sane way possible before I just get a jackhammer and start. I will convince this thing to separate if I have to, but first, let's start with the normal way. Let's go to the oven. Yay, everybody loves a field trip. I want y'all to see this. Like, yeah, you, yeah, get in here, show them. Look, I just wanna show you guys, there is a dead bug in here, and if they found their way inside this housing, so can I. <laughs> like, <laughs> now, I'm gonna get these into the oven. I preach this all the time. Temperature, it just depends. I personally recommend leaving it at 270 and leaving it in the oven for about seven to eight minutes. The way that this is gonna work is I'm gonna preheat the oven. Once it's warmed up, we're good to go. Put the light inside of the oven and you're gonna constantly be checking on it and praying that it's separating properly so that way you can get this lens apart. Close it up, time seven minutes, and then we're gonna come right back to it and start prying it open. All right, so I'm gonna pull this out and I'm gonna let you guys know already. You don't wanna waste any time. There are tabs that you need to take off. I am defeated. We're gonna put it right back in the oven to try to loosen it back up. And hopefully, round two. Hopefully, hopefully round two does it. We're gonna put it in one more time. And hopefully, we already got we already got a little bit of it actually separated, so that's just Permaseal for you. It's, ah, uh, okay, here we go. Round three. Let's get it going. For your life. Damn, this stuff. <laughs> Woo, bro. Oh my. Ah, <laughs> Permaseal, man, you suck. Now the hard part's not even over. Like getting this open is not the part that's a pain in the ass. The part that is a pain in the ass is you have to clean up all of this Permaseal that's on here. So that way when we put the butyl on, it will actually seal up properly. 
That's the part that's gonna take absolutely forever, but let's go ahead and just get this back to the studio and move on. I'm not gonna lie to you, that was a pain in the butt, and this is the easier of perma seals because a lot of the times you're gonna spend way more than three rounds fighting trying to get this thing separated. So the lens is off, great. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and use, oh look. We're gonna go ahead and start taking off all the chrome pieces from the lens so that way I can put it in some degreaser and not have it chrome. So far I see only three bolts. I'm gonna take a T15 and just start loosening and taking them out. All right, so now I'm gonna separate the piece from the lens. And then there's a little over clip over here that still has some Permaseal on it and it was holding it. Dude, that little amount of Permaseal was sticking onto here and I could have lifted it all up. Also, what I'm gonna do is take off the reflector as well too from the chrome piece. That way I'm not throwing this into the greaser. Might even switch up and do something different. I don't know. Let's see how we feel. Wish I knew. I wish I knew you wanted me. I'm gonna take off everything I can so that way, like I said, we can make sure we throw it all in the bucket together and just strip the chrome. And what, you know, and leave a comment. What color do you think you guys, uh, what color do you think we're doing for this housing? Are we gonna do black, flat black, maybe color match the truck, which would probably look super weird. What do you think we're gonna do? I don't even know yet, Franco. What are we gonna do? Here's a Phillips bolt. I'm gonna unloosen this. Isn't it cool how editing works where something that takes like two hours, you can make it seem like it took only 10 minutes, but realistically you're dying in the inside because Permaseal sucks. Chrome piece off one, bye. Here, I'm gonna take off the LED, the DRL. Because tonight will be the night that I will fall for you. Over again, don't make me change my mind. Before you just pull this out and the ground it the wrong way, go ahead and just take this off from the retainers holding out the wiring and easy. Peasy. <laughs> I am gonna pull that wire out. Here we go. Unclip that, take it out. Now your wiring is safe. And last, I'm gonna leave this on here because honestly, it's kind of a pain in the butt to take off the top part and remove this completely from the housing. So the rest is just plastic. It's not gonna die in degreaser. If anything, it's probably gonna be super duper clean now. So uh, let's move to degreasing and we're almost done. And don't forget to take this off from the chip panel. You don't wanna put anything electric in degreaser. It's just not gonna end well for you if you do. Whoa, who tightened this, Zeus? What the hell? Do, what you do, make a move, gotta make a move. So five gallons of this, one box of that, throw all your chrome stuff in there, let it sit to up to 24 hours, but I'm gonna show you how long it's taking for us. Maybe it might be one hour, maybe it might be four. It just depends, uh, I guess, on what kind of paint they might have used from factory, because some are just weaker than others. This has been coming off with just wiping it, so hoping it'll be a lot quicker than most. So now I'm pouring in the greaser. Just keep going until you think you have enough in the bucket so the housing can sit and start peeling away the paint. Now that you're done pouring your Barney blood, what we're gonna do is get these chrome housings. Anything that's chrome that I want painted is gonna go inside. So I'm gonna carefully place this and just let it sit. Money. I am gonna put the entire housing on in this one and I'm gonna make sure that it sits where the chrome is at so that way it can keep getting hit by the degreaser. It's okay to put the housing in here as long as you take off the electronic adjuster on the backside, so we're all good. I'm gonna let this sit now for about an hour, check back on it, make sure that it's actually pulling the chrome off and let's see how long it takes. I don't think it's gonna take the full 24 hours. Something tells me it'll be a lot faster, but only one way to find out. And here we go, this is not super light, but my camera guy thought it'd be cool if I pick it up and show you on camera how it ended up coming out. So I will say this is after an hour and a half. Whoa, that took a lot. Wow, actually that did really well for just one, and you can probably start getting off the other. To be honest, I'm gonna let this sit for maybe like another hour on this piece, wow. That's really good. I don't think it'll take 24 hours. This stuff works really great. As you can, there's some chrome that's still left on it, but oh, well, not anymore. <laughs> so I will say maybe two hours is your sweet spot. Yeah, this one's almost completely done too. Wow, this stuff is great. It's been about two and a half hours since I put the chrome pieces in here, uh, but I will say that the chrome, like the housing itself, 
almost all of the chrome is gone. Now I'm not, yeah, it's actually like wiping off as I like put my finger over it. I'm gonna go ahead and say that the big piece is done. Since I am gonna paint these anyway, I'm going to, I'm also gonna put this down. <laughs> But we, I'm gonna go ahead and just sand the rest of it off anyway. And when you look at pieces like this, you guys saw like, this is impressive. The fact that it like has a little bubble, let's see. Aw, that was, wow, that was really lame. As you guys can see, like this thing, it's, it's ready to be sanded, primed and painted. So I'm gonna go ahead and just like move towards that. It has a little bit of chrome left on it, like right here, but it's so light to the point, yeah, like to the point where your finger will take it off. This stuff is strong, so this is good. It's great. It's great. It's great. Ah, it's great because it's like purple. All right. <laughs> so it's a great combination of the, you know, that this stuff is really strong and the chrome painting that comes like from factory sucks. So that's great, easy for us. I'm gonna go ahead and put in the rest of the pieces. Look at that, man, everything. Even the part that holds the DRL strip, it, it's light sanding should take the rest of it off. And just like that, I showed you guys how to get rid of the chrome on your housing so that way you can paint it to whatever color you want or for whatever reason, you can even respray it with more chrome. And also how to separate your lens from the housing with Permaseal. Keep in mind, this is with the Tundra. That one was not as bad, but there are manufacturers like Ford and others that use like this Thor strength Permaseal. So if you're struggling with the removal of your lens, keep putting it back into the oven, can work in increments so that way you can just get through it and powerhouse through your retrofit. Leave a comment down below what you guys think. Have you done a retrofit that has Permaseal? How long did it take you? What are you concerned about? Leave it down below and make sure to hit the subscribe button to see more.